to marry you. I just got a little emotional thinking about it trying to do this but I can't wait to walk down the aisle and see you and you're just perfect and I can't <laughs> I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I'm so thankful God put us together and I hope you cry during this too so I don't look like such a baby. <laughs> I love you and looking forward to seeing you in a few hours. Father, we thank you so much for this beautiful day. And Lord, you designed marriage. It was your idea when you said in your word, therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and they shall become one flesh. And that's what we're doing today. Cody and I initially met back in middle school, high school days, we're good friends, and then it kind of rekindled right before he got deployed for the military. He passed me on the highway, and then he called me and was like, hey, you want to pull over quick and talk? It's just like the craziest story, because if he wouldn't have passed me on the highway, like I wouldn't have known he was deployed, I wouldn't have sent him cookies. God placed us on that highway that day. Cody. 934 days ago today, I made the best decision to say yes. When you asked me to be your girlfriend, and I have not looked back since, you are so selfless and work so hard, putting everyone first before yourself. You are truly a servant soldier, just like the Bible asks us to be. Cody, you are my sweet soulmate, my rock, my inspiration. Yesterday my fiance, today my husband, and for here on out, my forever. With all my love, Anna Ray. It is a complete honor to be getting married to you today. I will thank God every day for blessing me with the most astonishing wife in the world. He and I promise to be the husband you deserve. I'll protect you through life, standing by your side every step of the way. Yes, I didn't choose you, you didn't choose me. God chose us. Then, God said, Herb and Brenda, let's take this up a notch. <laughs> I now bestow upon you 
a daughter. But at that moment, I knew that no man could ever love this little girl as much as I do. Until Cody. I met Cody at the Barron County Fair about 10 years ago. Fun-loving kid. But he also showed early signs of becoming a really fine young man. The type you hope that your daughter marries someday. So when Hannah and Cody's paths crossed again on Highway 53 a few years ago, I recognized the hand of God at work. Now we present to you, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Cody and Hannah Darling. someone I've known to be genuinely happy, you're a hard worker, and I see that you truly do love Cody. I know Cody will do everything he can to make you the happiest life possible. And I can already tell you that you make him happier than ever before. There's a love struck look in his eyes when he talks about you and when he's around you. I will admit, throughout our friendship, I was that judgmental friend when it came to Hannah dating. But when Cody came into the story, I remember the first thing I said was, Hannah, don't mess this one up. <laughs> and I guess she finally took my advice, because look where we are today. It has been a very long summer with everything that's been going on. And I have to say, with all the changes, some disappointments, that these two have persevered. I'm very proud of both Cody and Anne. They love you very much. Woo! Woo! Hold it together!